Hi, Brian Danola with Autodesk here, along with Scott Laprade and Derek Briggs. Uh, Scott is from Gen Swiss, a Swiss tooling provider, and Derek with Sugami. Today we're going to talk a little bit about turning applications, in particular back turning, and some of the unique geometries that you have for Swiss turning. Scott, tell us a little bit about the holders and the tooling or the inserts and how they're any different from a, a tool that I would use on a, a two-axis lathe as opposed to what's used on a Swiss machine? Well, on a, on a Swiss machine, there's a process known as back turning, which generally involves turning behind a larger diameter on a workpiece. This particular insert here is a 29 degree, so it gives you the capability of generating a lot of different profiles on your workpiece. This particular holder here is specifically for back turning, and what we did today is fall behind a shoulder and then turn long lengths, and we've included a wiper geometry on this particular insert for higher surface finish and strength on the leading edge. What about the holder on these tools? Is the holder any different than it would be for any other type of insert? On this spe specific tooling line here, this holder will hold any geometry. This one here is a dedicated back turning holder, also with the, the benefit of coolant through. So the front side of the tool cuts and the back side wiper angle actually rubs or burnishes the parts Correct. to improve the finish. Correct. So no need for secondary operations for finishing with the kind of finish that you'll get off of here. Frequently in the medical industry, aesthetics is just as important as precision and uh, the wiper geometry really benefits applications like that. You want to be able to do these bag turning features to try to get your part to come off complete, which is the whole point of a Swiss machine. You know, two spindles with overlap to really cut your cycle time down. When you're actually thread whirling, you lose your support because you're hanging so far away from the guide bushing. So what we've developed here is we use an extended nose guide bushing. It allows more support closer to the cutting edge of the whirling inserts. So all you have to do is use standard tool holders. You don't need to make any kind of custom shim stock or do any kind of custom setup or application. Another nice benefit of the Sagami machine is the tools are actually facing each other. This helps in many ways. Shorter ball screw length because your, your tools are actually opposed from each other instead of one long slide going all the way across. So your, your thermal displacement is going to be a lot better. Another benefit is the rigidity of the frame. We're running our X and our Y axis, one on top of the other, so all your cutting force is inside the box of those two axes. So I'm going to talk a little bit about programming these wiper style inserts uh, with Autodesk Swiss Solution Part Maker. One of the first things that you need to do is define this tool geometry. So it's not just the nose radius on the tool. You can actually have two nose radiuses and a wiper angle. The challenge when you have two nose radiuses and this wiper angle is when you come up over a radius or an angle or back over, you may cut on one side of the tool and then switch to cutting on the other side of the tool. Trying to program that manually becomes very cumbersome and time consuming and error prone. What's nice about the software is we can choose our profile on the part. When we play this, we can easily compensate for both the front side and the back side of the tool. Here we can see the tool comes in and when it hits that tangent point, it's compensating for that radius, comes up over back of the part and comes down the back side. So all the trigonometry that you would normally have to do if you were programming this manually is taken care of by the software, making programming these wiper insert back turning type tools a real breeze. So if you're in the business of making uh, high quality, small precision parts today, you can see the importance of things like back turning on a Swiss machine and getting the precision and the finished quality that you need in those parts.